everyone. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here. I'm going bright today. And after I got my colors together, I realized it's kind of like red, white, and blue <laughs> with multiple shades of blue, but I guess that's fitting since we just had July 4th and I'm from the United States. So I painted my sides because the color that I'm using as the base tonight is pyrrole red. So that color, I'm gonna do, a, I see just a little bit of paint on here. You wanna make sure that this edge is smooth. The pyrrole red, is by Amsterdam and it is a super bright red. It um, almost has like a hint of an orangish undertone, uh, but it's it just dries this beautiful, beautiful red. So that's what I'm using tonight. I've got Payne's Gray, Sky Blue Light with a little extra white mixed in to lighten it up, and then a turquoise blue and I'm adding white and silver. I don't know if this is gonna come out like truly red, white, and blue. I did a similar red base with just the light blue and silver and white. This was years ago when I was doing my uh, different color base series. And I really liked that one. It was a really beautiful combination. So I feel like if I had used phthalo blue, it would be a little bit more like American flag type, but I think this is gonna, I think this is gonna go well. So let's paint. All right, so I'm gonna start with my base. And I'm gonna blow this out. Okay, so I blew it out, I covered my sides, I tilted to level it off, and I actually have a good amount of paint on there, um, and it's a very thin base coat, so I think that my petals are gonna be able to kind of stay where they are, so that's good. I think I'm gonna start, I was debating whether or not to do one puddle in the center or to do multiples, and I do think I'm gonna do multiples. So I'm going to start with my, my three puddle section. And as I pour onto them, they'll grow and hopefully meet in the center. I'm going to do my light blue next. All right. And then turquoise blue on top. I, I don't know about these colors, but you won't know unless you try, right? I think I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna do a little bit of white now. A little bit more light blue. That's one of my favorite colors with this pyrrole red. And then the silver over top it all. And I also haven't decided if I am going to blow this out into petals or blow it so that it kind of goes all the way off the canvas, like an explosion of color, like I did with the one a while back, um, the sunflower. I am gonna pour just a tiny bit to help that flow up that way. And just a tiny bit to help it flow down below. Does not need much. All right, give it a good torch. And I feel like maybe I want just a little bit more white. Oh my gosh, I said a little and I did a little. <laughs> That's like good for me. You guys should be clapping right now. <laughs> All right, let me blow this out.
Okay, so quite a few things here. I started as petals, and so let me start even before that. So remember I said I had a very thin layer of paint on the canvas? The colors were not moving the way that I wanted. It's almost like they caught on the color, so I had to add more of the base color around there. So that was the first thing. Second thing is as I blew it out, I realized that I blew out like so many petals around it. And I was like, I don't really like the look of that with them not going off the canvas. And that red color is so bright that I felt like it needed a little bit less negative space. So with that said, I love the way it turned out. The center, even though I did the puddles, it's gorgeous. I have the tiny little bit of Payne's Gray popping through. The one part that I don't like that red snaking in through there is right there. So I just, all I do is drag my finger along to get rid of it. I do wish that this part right here had come out a little bit more. So I'm just going to make my curly cues up through here in the areas that I wish I had blown it out a little bit more. You don't have to do them everywhere. You don't have to do them at all. If you don't like them and some people don't, don't do them. Very easy. But I like, especially on these big blowouts, to have extra space taken up. I love the red popping through. Oops, see, it's very, the base coat is very thin there, so I actually drug my finger down along that. I think I'm done. Let me know what you think of this color combination. It definitely doesn't give red, white, and blue like American flag, um, just because of the colors that I chose in the center. I really like this. I think it's a very pretty color combination. I love the dark blue that's up at the top, the light blue that's down at the bottom. I've got four petals on the bottom, three petals on the top, a little bit off center, super cool reactions in the middle. All right, I'll stop talking. I'll show you what it looks like wet. All right, so here it is. I almost forgot again to show you the wet result. Gorgeous. That red is so bright. It's gonna dry darker, but I think it's still gonna be a beautiful backdrop for these colors. And the silver is gonna shine through. So I really like it. All right, here it is. What do we think? I think the silver is absolutely gorgeous. I really do like the color combination. That bright red base is very striking. That pyrrole red, it dries such a rich red color. It's got so much detail from the silver. I like how the petals fade out on the sides. So much energy. When I blow them off the edges, it reminds me of like an energy ball instead of like a flower. And I really enjoy that. But yeah, there you go, red, white, and blue. A Little bit of a different take on it. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Happy painting. Bye.